relationships that had yokes of weak, they put yokes of iron on our necks. God says he's going to save us from them. Right. So Christ said at his own mouth, he ain't coming for them. Right. But we think in our mind that these people, they need saving. They don't need saving. Right. We the ones that need saving. Right. 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 We the ones that don't have a, give me, give me that in Hosea chapter 3 real quick. Hosea chapter 3 and verse 4. Watch this. We the ones that need a savior. We the ones that's on the bottom. We the ones that suffer in poverty, single parent homes, black on black crime, gang violence, bad education, bad food, systemic oppression. We the ones that go through that. Come on. I got to show you this so you will know that Christ is not coming to save everyone. Watch this. Luke 1, 68. Watch this. The book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Put it out. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, uh -huh. for he has visited and redeemed his people uh -huh. and have raised up a horn of salvation for us Read. in the house of his servant David, uh -huh. as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, Read. which have been since the world began, uh -huh. that we, we who, the children of Israel, which are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that we should be saved. Should be who? Saved from our enemies. No, we're going to be saved with our enemies. Be saved from our enemies. You hear what the Bible says? That's right. The Bible said we're going to be saved from our enemies. That's right. The same people that put us on slave ships, that had yokes of weak, they put yokes of iron on our necks. God says he's going to save us from them. Right. So Christ said at his own mouth, he ain't coming for them. Right. But we think in our mind, that these people, they need saving. They don't need saving. Right. We the ones that need saving. Right. Right. We the ones that don't have a, give me, give me that in Hosea chapter three real quick. Right. Hosea chapter three and verse four. Watch this. We the ones that need a savior. We the ones that's on the bottom. We the ones that suffer in poverty, single right. parent homes, black on black crime, <laughs> gang violence, right. bad education, bad food, right. systemic oppression. We the ones that go through that. Right. Right. Come on. The book of Hosea, chapter 3, and verse 4. Uh -huh. right for the children of Israel. For the children of Israel, which are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. Shall abide many days without a king. We are, we are the ones abiding many days without a king. They, they got a king. They president. Trump, Biden. That's their king. But we've been abiding many days without a king. Come on. And without a prince. And without a sacrifice. Uh -huh. And without an image. We've been abiding many days without an image. We've been thinking that this white man is, is Jesus Christ. Right. We've been abiding many days of the image. And when you read the William Lynch letter, the white man destroyed the image of the black man. Right. Right. We've been abiding many days without a king. Many days without an image. Come on. And without an ephah and without a terrible. Uh-huh. Is that it? Yes, sir. Do you understand? So now that we know that, this is, that Jesus Christ looked like this, now we're starting to gain our image back. Right. Now we're starting to understand who our king is. Right. And our king is Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. Yes, right. Right. He's coming back for his people, right. the children right. of Israel. Right. If you're not an Israelite, you're going to die. Right. Right. And if you're not keeping the commandments as an Israelite, you're going to die right along with your enemies. Right. 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 How bad is that to have to suffer slavery and then when your savior come back to die again, right. to suffer again for eternity? Does that make sense? That don't make sense at all for our people. But our people out here breaking God's laws right now. The same God, the same Jesus that's going to come back and save us out of this captivity, they out here breaking his commandments right now. Right. And if they breaking God's commandments when Christ returns, Christ is going to kill us. Right. That's why, the, that's why we be going over the commandments with you about your beard. That's a commandment from God. Because if you ain't got that on your face when Christ returns and you a man and you can grow a beard, you being marring that thing, God is going to kill you. Right. That's how serious these commandments are. Let's give them another one. Give me 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse th uh, 3 real quick. Put it out. I'm going to give you another one. And I want you to understand something. What was the first thing that the white man done to the black man when he came over on the, on the slave ship? What did he do to him? Of he put them on the bottom of the ship. When they got to, when they got over here, what did they do to him? Put them shackles on. Before they did that, you said they put the shackles on. Okay, yeah. But they had before they sold us off, right? Before they started to sell us off, what did they do to the to the black man? Before they sold off when they got us into the yeah. Market. When they started to sell us, what did they do to him? When they had us on the market, uh -huh. looking in your mouth and 
They was looking in your mouth. They would shave your beard off, shave oh, your hair yeah, off. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, like yeah. I got a strong, big, big buck. buck. <laughs> Ready for work. Free. Give me a... Uh, yeah, that's what we'll do. That the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, and verse 4. Now hurry it out. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. Them, them. Brother Wayne, come on, come on up. I want to talk to you, man. I want to talk to my brother right here. Come on, school. Come talk to me, man. I'm your brother, man. Ain't no reason to be to not talk to me. Talk to us. How about we do you know what? You're my son. Yeah. Come talk to him. You my son. No, no, you don't want to listen to your L. You don't want to preach. Now, I'm gonna give me, give me Job 32 and verse 9. Bring it up! Listen to this, Bring listen to this elder. What's your name? My name is Ron. Ron, Ron, I'm live. Nice to meet you, Ron. Listen to this. The book, L listen to this. No, 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 no. You gotta listen to this. The book, Read. The book of Job, chapter 32 and verse 9. Come on. Bring it out. Great men are not always wise. You see that thing? It says great men are not always wise. Great men is going to the age men. Come right. on. Watch this. Neither do the age understand judgment. It says neither do the age understand judgment. Now, I'm, I'm going to show you that the age man don't understand judgment. That's your daughter, right? Yes, my daughter. Okay. So now, give me Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Bring it out. I'm going to show you that the age men don't understand judgment. But these brothers over here in purple, we understand judgment. That's and right. we, 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 we have daughters. I got a daughter. Right. right. You understand? Say I have a wife, a daughter, and two sons. And this is what I teach my daughter. I judge her according to the way that she's dressed. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, mm. verse 5. Come on. Out. The woman. The who? The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read the next part. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What's a woman's garment that men shouldn't wear, Elder? Look at that. <laughs> That's what is it? What article of clothing? Hold on, answer the no, question. No, 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 no. What are, come on over here. Come on over here. Come on over here. We dialogue. Yeah. You're my brother. You know what? You you come on over here. You know what? Come on over here. No, let me say something. Sis, I'm gonna need you, I'm gonna need you to be quiet. I'm just gonna be that I'm gonna tell you off the top. Talk to I'm talking to him, to your to a man. And when men deal, women are supposed to be quiet. Right. Watch this. Listen up. Listen up, school. Don't get emotional. Don't be emotional. You're a grown man. Don't be emotional. You're the one emotional. I'm not emotional. We're reading the Bible. I'm not emotional. I'm not. Yes. Don't be emotional, man. We're reading the Bible. I'm going, man. Don't, don't, don't leave. Hey, listen to this. Keep reading. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth to a man. Yo, yo, your daughter is walking next to you with the same article of clothing on. The Bible says that a woman ain't supposed to wear that pertains to a man. Right. You understand? When a woman and a man cross dress, that's called a transvestite. That's right. You understand? I have one question for you to do. Awesome. Come on, answer this. No, answer this first. Nowhere. Come up here, and then I answer any I question you got. Nothing to you. Come talk to answer us. To say come talk. Come up no, here. No, I'm not coming. I'm, I'm standing right okay. here. Okay. Okay. Did you I understand got, I got this? One question for Hold on. Did you understand this first? I then I get to your question. I got one question. You rest. I'll answer question. your question. I, I would. You need to acknowledge this question, first. Question. What's the question, school? Hey, what do you say? What's the question? What was the last thing you said? What? School. Old school. That's how we call school. Old school. So what's your question? So you do everything the Bible says, right? Yes. Yes. That's right. <laughs> okay, prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Give me first. Oh, uh, give me first Peter chapter four verse eleven. What Bring it up. What do you do in the dark? What's that? Uh, prove all things. What's it? Give me that. What do you yep. do in the dark? Not all you want to do. Hey, come out here and deal with us. Come over here and talk to me, man. Don't don't run around the corner. We grown men. Give me prop now. Hold this. Give me Proverbs twenty eight verse one. We're coming right back here. Proverbs chapter 20, uh, 28 and verse 1. How y'all doing, family? Can I talk to y'all for a minute? We your brothers. We out here trying to swap people love according to the Bible. Watch this. Okay, let me ask y'all a question real quick. What are y'all nationalities? What you see is what you hear. I don't know. What are your nationality, right? Y'all believe the Bible? We reading the Bible right now. So the Bible says that if you are, if you of God, you will hear God's words. Anybody that don't want to hear God's words, they're the opposite of uh, of God. They will That's be right. of what? Of the devil. That's right. So now you got now you got to stay there because you don't want to prove to us or to God that you're of the devil by keep walking down the street and not dealing in the scriptures. Right. So right. stay here for a minute. We only ask them for a few minutes just to show you who you are and what's required of you. Okay. Let me ask you this: What is your nationality? I don't have to. I don't have to prove anything to you. Okay, I, I, and, I just, I just and got and a I question. I will say this. I will say this. Uh huh. Heard your message before. Uh huh. You are very young. And what that means? 
meaning that I'm older than you are and I've heard I mean, this. Give me that, bro, give me that, go back to Joel 32 and 9 again. Let it go. You say, I'm, I'm young, you're old. I'm not saying old, I'm older than you. Okay, what does that mean? I'm familiar with what you're, what you're talking about. I'm familiar with your philosophy. I understand. It's and not I respect It's not our philosophy, it's God's philosophy. Yes. Yes. Right. right. Now, what we've been taught is white man philosophy. I'm going to tell you how we were taught white man philosophy. Where did y'all learn to wear these pants? Who taught y'all that? Bring it out. Who, who taught us that? Who taught the black woman this? Stand here for a second. They can leave. We, they can leave. Huh? Okay, so now, I want y'all to understand something. Because the Lord is trying to have compassion on y'all right now. Right. But y'all walking away from the compassion that God trying to give you. And y'all think y'all know something because you might be older. Listen to what the Bible says. Read that again. The book of Job chapter 32 and verse 9. Well, yeah. Great men are not always wise. Great men. Read verse 7. Verse 7. I say, they should speak. It says, they should speak. The, what, what's that talking about? The aged men and women should speak. Read. A multitude of years should teach wisdom. They should teach wisdom, but they're not. They're not teaching the wisdom of God. They teach the, the so-called wisdom of the world, which right. is no wisdom according to the Bible. That's right. Read. But there is a spirit in man, uh -huh. and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. The spirit will only give men and women understanding. What's the spirit of God? Give me John chapter 6 and verse uh, 63. Bring it out. Let's Bring see out. the spirit that's going to give our older men and women the spirit and wisdom to be able to teach men and women. Come on. The Read. book of John, chapter 6, verse 63. Uh -huh. Bring it, out. it is the spirit. It is the spirit that quickened it. Read. The flesh profited nothing. Uh huh. The word that the I, what? The word. The what? The word Read. that I speak unto you. They are spirit and they are life. The words in this Bible is the spirit. That's what's going to bring forth their wisdom that the aged men and women are supposed to be teaching. But they're not teaching it today. I got to. I noticed something about these people, that women just walked by here. Did they have a man? Did they have a man with them? Now I ain't making no assumption that they might be single. Hey y'all, hey sisters right here, sisters, sisters, yeah, hey sisters. Do y'all got a y'all got a uh, husband? Anyone y'all got y'all married? Go to that. Give me Titus chapter two. Titus chapter two, and we're gonna read verse two. We're gonna start with the men, then we're gonna work down to the women. The Read book, that. The book of Titus, chapter 2, and verse 3. Uh -huh. The aged woman likewise. That, Read verse 2. Verse 2. That the aged men be sober. Now, the Bible says that the aged men be sober. Sober in the spirit and sober physically. Me, right. you ain't out here drunk and high. But I've been seeing a lot of aged men come up through here drunk and high right now. Read. That the aged men be sober. Grave. Different. It says grave being serious. We ain't out here playing with none of our people. We out here serious with the word of God. Right. That's right. We've been sucking and jiving for the white man for too damn long. Right. It's time for the black man to get serious. That's right. Come on. Temperate. Sound in faith. Temperate. We supposed to be sound in faith. Your faith is in the white man. Your faith is in America. Our faith is in the words of God. Right. That's the only way you're going to have sound faith. Come on. In charity. In patience. And we're supposed to have charity and patience. What y'all don't understand is by us coming out here and teaching you, this is charity. We wasn't we no nobody paid us to come out here and do this. Right. No, we ain't asking nobody for no money. Right. This is charitable. Right. And we're patiently trying to deal with our people out of the scriptures. Right. But our people don't want to deal with the word of God because the word of God cut. The word of God will let you know that you ain't of God. Right. But all your life you've been taught that you were of God. But we are here to, talk, to, to show you that you're not and how to get uh, uh, back in the good graces with God. Right. You understand? Nation is men leading by example. Ah!
Lord. His word. 